So my friend Elena has this strip mall in Pacifica, and she asked me for a paint quote. But when I got there, the place was rotten from the inside out because someone decided they would put downspouts inside the walls. And when those went rotten, nobody knew until it rotted the whole building. So I called my general contractor friend and my roofing buddies at Hallmark Roofing, had them replace the roof, take care of the gutters, and then we pulled off all the siding and took care of the rotten substrate, replaced the electrical. Once the frame was checked for rot, then we put the plywood back. That's awesome. There goes Heath, painting that metal black. So we cut out the bottom foot and a half of the plywood because it was rot really bad. And once that was cut out, we cut our two by sixes and installed those. Now we have something to nail to. That's awesome. That was rotten. Boom. Now it's not. This was old and obsolete, so we got rid of it. And this shed, oh man, this had problems. There was termites and rot at the foundation level. We'll take care of that later. But for now, we pour to flash the pressure treated plywood that we used to replace the bottom foot and a half. Then we put up this brand new Z flashing onto the belly band that we installed after putting up the porta flaps. Oh man, that used to be a house across the street. They took it out in one day. That's crazy. Anyway, we put up the siding now. It's all hardy board. That's cement board. It'll last pretty much forever. I flashed all this myself, and then we installed the siding. That's awesome. We worked a seven day work week to get this siding up. As much as you try to avoid it, there's always waste in construction. And there sure was on this job. Now to build this footing. But before we do, we've got to brace the roof so it doesn't cave in on our heads. Then we cut out the bottom foot. Oh my god, we found termites and ants. In fact, the ants are farming the termites. That's awesome. So, once we get rid of them, then we draw where the blocks are gonna go. Use some epoxy after we drill these holes for the rebar. Put the blocks into place on the epoxy. Put the rebar in. Mix some cement. And then put that cement inside the blocks. Once that dries, then we rebuild the wall. Use the tie bag. And install the siding. That's awesome. Boom. Brand new. And across the street, people are surfing, hanging out. But I got no time for that, man. I gotta work. Anyway, I set all the nails. I spackle the holes. Boom. Then I sand all the spackle. I prime it. Then I mask everything and spray twice. And once that's done, I paint everything by hand one more time. Then I paint the trim black twice by hand as well. This is gonna last forever. Once that's done, Hallmark comes back, installs the downspouts. Those gutters and downspouts may last hundreds of years. Anyway, 
That's the finished product. Looks great. Now that's done, back to the beach. Ah.